3D printing a 3D mesh is easy. 3D printing a 3D scan is just as easy, but it's even cooler. From really cool stocking stuffers, tools, and conversation starters, see how you can use the Scandi Pro 3D scanner to scan and 3D print in a few easy steps. First things first, you'll need to download the Scandi Pro 3D scanner for a Tango-enabled device like the Fab 2 Pro. You can find it on the Google Play Store by following the link in the description. After you've downloaded the app, tap the Create a 3D Scan button on the main menu to access Scandi Pro's scanning interface. Adjust your settings to accommodate for the size of the object and resolution you want before beginning your 3D scan. Make sure to get as complete of a scan as possible, walking a full 360 degrees around your subject. Once you have a 3D scan that you're happy with, save it to your phone. Go into the built-in 3D model viewer from Scandi Pro's main menu and load the scan you just saved into the view with one simple tap. When it's loaded, double check your scan for any imperfections and if everything is good to go, tap the share scan button to download the model to your computer. Next, we'll be making your 3D model solid and watertight. For this example, we'll be using a free program called Mesh Mixer. Import the model you created and use the Edit Make Solid tool. This will add a volume to the inside of your model, preventing your mesh from collapsing during the printing process. Make sure that your scan is 3D printable by using the Analysis Inspector tool to see where there are errors like small holes in your model that could prevent printing. You can review these errors one by one or fix them all at once. Export your model and move on to the final step, actually 3D printing your model. There are a lot of great free 3D slicing applications out there. You can even send a model directly to 3D print from MeshMixer. But for this demonstration, we'll use a tool called Cura. It's free, has a great amount of flexibility, and helps you understand exactly what you'll print as well as estimations on print time and filament usage. Import your model into Cura and align it with the base plate. If you think your model won't be stable or will fall down during the print, check the Generate Support box to the right of the Cura window. Double check the size and geometry of your print, and finally send it off to your printer. Check in on the printing process regularly to correct any issues that may arise. This 2 inch print took about 90 minutes to print. Simply use needle nose pliers to remove any supports, and once those are gone, use a file to smooth your print and remove any loose filament. Lastly, display the finished product proudly because you just created a really cool 3D model using nothing but your Fab 2 Pro and a little bit of ingenuity. What have you 3D printed that started out as a Scandi Pro 3D scan? We'd love to see it. Tag us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram with the hashtag Scandi Pro and we'll share it on our official channels. Don't forget to also like, comment, and subscribe on our Scandi YouTube page. Thank you for watching.